Hey. Okay, so first of all, we've been having downpours, so background noise, that's where it's coming from. And yes, I changed. <laughs> She's already in the Etsy shop. He's going to take a little bit of time because I have to change the gridding. I don't know what happened there, but um, so yeah, <laughs> there's going to be a delay. So um, let's talk about monsters, mummies. I love the mummy movies. Boris Karloff and Sir Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing, if you've never seen that particular film, I highly recommend you do. <laughs> and of course, Brendan Fraser. And everybody seems to think that that's like the original. <laughs> no, it isn't, children. <laughs> no, there's Boris Karloff. But that's what I want to talk about, is the fact that I, I got to thinking about it. And... I love Boris Karloff's, um, and I always thought that that was the original. That's where it started, was the 1932 film, uh, The Mummy. But then I got to thinking about it. There was an Egyptian revival. You know, when, when Howard Carter found King Tut, there was Egyptian revival, everything. I mean, the music, fashion, everything. I mean, people were using Egyptian theme everything to, to sell like soap and cigarettes and everything. So what about the movies? Uh, <laughs> how come? <laughs> I mean, you think about it. There was, of course, Cleopatra. There was the two silent films that I talked about with the, the 1911. And then, of course, Theta Barras, which are which is lost. But there had to be more, especially during the, um, there were. <laughs> I, I did some research and we're going to talk about the mummy. We're going to talk about my favorite monster. <laughs> Who doesn't love mummies? And, um, so... Uh, Going back, and there's, it starts, of course, first of all, let, let's talk about Ramses. Because his, uh, Ramses II, his mummy was found in 1881. And of course, his mummy was the inspiration for um, the makeup job of Boris Karloff's um, film and everything, you know, for that in 1932. So there was a spurt of an Egyptian revival in the Victorian, in the late Victorian era, because Ramses was found. How did they do it? Well, this was, of course, before Hollywood, you know, or Hollywood was in his infancy. So what did they do? They used Shakespeare's Antony and Cleopatra. That's what they did. You know, I kept thinking about why, you know, with a lot of the actors and actresses that I would restore and colorize, how come I keep finding these people dressed in their Antony and Cleopatra um, costume? That's why. <laughs> it all fits together now. And, um... So, Ramses was found in 1881. The first mummy film, Georges Malez, our wonderful man, Georges Malez, he created, you know, when he first started, he was doing horror films. <laughs> because, of course, he did that the first horror film, you know, with the bats and the, the all of that, the cauldron and everything. Well, he did a film that was, um, uh, I forgot the title of it, but it was in the, in Cleopatra's tomb and, uh, something to that effect. And basically it was resurrecting Cleopatra's mummy. So that's where it started. 
is George Melez's film in 1899. And so there was that one in 1899. And it seems like he did another one soon after that with an Egyptian theme, but don't quote me on that. I'll of course have all of this in the description below for you. And um, robbing Cleopatra's tomb, that's what it was in 1899. And, but, but that's where it starts because, you know, you look at all of these films and the, the ones that we're familiar with, with, um, and what, what's the, the theme? The res, these, these mummies are resurrected by some kind of scholar or professor or something and they just... So, yeah, Robbing Cleopatra's Tomb in 1899 by Georges Malaise. Now, in 1909, there was a French film, and the director was uh, Gerard uh, Bourget, and I'm sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly. He made a film, and... The translation, of course, is The Mummy of the King of Ramses. And his film was basically The Mummy of King Ramses is brought to life by a professor. Now, this film is lost, and it took me a dickens of a time trying to find anything about it. <laughs> but that's, that's basically what the, the story is about. And that was in 1909. So between, in a 10-year time, yeah, and uh, so now two years later, in 1911, there were three films made titled The Mummy. Now, I could only find information on one of them. So all three of them titled The Mummy in 1911. One was by uh, Urban, another one by Paith, and another one by Thanhauser. Now, the Thanhauser company, this one is a short, silent film, and Jack purchases this uh, professor, uh, Jack Thornton, Purchases a mummy and plans to win his respect as an Egyptologist, but the mummy is reanimated in Jack's room by a live electrical wire. The mummy takes immediate interest in Jack, but is rejected and mummifies him. So, yeah, and, and the, the mummy is a, is a girl, is a female. And everything, I mean, <laughs> actually the, the plot is, is, is an interesting one. It's just too bad that it's lost. So, and I couldn't find any information on the other two. And, um, so again, I will have all this information in the, there are only stills of this one that survived. And, um, so now, there was also the next year, in 1912, there was Vengeance of Egypt. And the only thing that is said about it is a stolen mummy brings a death curse. So the curse of the mummy. <laughs> and then in 1913 and in 1914, there was the Egyptian mummy. They both have the same name. And... In 1918, there was a German film titled The Eyes of the Mummy. Now, Poland Agree was in this. She was a Polish actress who then, of course, made... Uh, she moved here, and um, she made quite a name for herself here in America. But, yeah, she was in The Eyes of the Mummy. The thing about The Eyes of the Mummy is there is a 
stunt in there where she falls down the steps and it's just she has no st no stunt double at all and so it's like my heavens <laughs> and so people have watched that they have analyzed it they've tried to look to see if she tried to catch herself or if she just went ahead and just and um so but yeah this one from what i understand is still it still survives and um i don't think it's just segments now 1923 if you remember um king tut was found in 1922 so this was the next year there was a movie made titled the mummy now everyone was hyped up on the mummy's curse remember and um so the fact that this film does not survive does not surprise me because of the fact that people were scared out of their minds over <laughs> the mummy's curse and um so now when i did look that up there were some people that tried to say that it was archive footage like the stuff but all the archive footage of people taking things out of the tomb has survived so i don't i think this is an actual movie and um there's just nothing to be found and um one more movie was made called mummy love and uh, that was in 1926. Again, a lot of these movies, I've tried to find information on them. It's very hard to find. After that, 1932, Boris Karloff's. So there's quite a chunk of silent film movies made for, and, and it starts with Georges Malaise, where he made, um, the the robbing of cleopatra's tomb and the idea of resurrecting a mummy and so and you you read some of these other ones and of course then of the mummy of ramses and um and, and what's funny to me is the concept is still there i mean you look at the brandon fraser you look at the well yeah let's look at the brandon fraser i mean a professor or someone of, you know, a, a scholar or something, resurrects the mummy. <laughs> what was the 1909? A professor resurrects a mummy. Even the one that I said with the 1911. Professor resurrects. <laughs> um, or actually, I guess it was a businessman who is in love with a professor, with a professor's daughter. So I guess uh, with that one, it's a little bit different, but still, there's a professor involved there. So, um, but with all of these different movies and um, the eyes of the mummy, and you know, in the 30s, they were making all these different, you know, like the mummy's hand, the mummy's tomb. Oh, the... They were even animated uh, in, uh, it doesn't say what year, but um, there was an animated in the silent era of it, and it didn't say what year, but it's lost, which is too bad. But this one has Avengers of Superman, The Mummy Strikes in 1943, <laughs> and The Mummy's Ghost, The Mummy's Curse. Evan Costello meet the mummy <laughs> and um the pharaoh's curse in 1957 so i mean it's it you just go on i love them all <laughs> but that was the thing that that bothered me so much as much as i absolutely love boris karloff's mummy there was this whole idea that that was the original 
that was the first. And I kept thinking, how can that be the first when everyone was so drunk on Egyptian revival? That can't be the first. Because if, if everyone's so big on Egyptian revival, they had to be making movies right and left. And um, especially with Theta Barrow making Cleopatra and, and that, that other woman making the Cleopatra movie, people had to be, they had to be interested in it in some way or another. Well, it turns out they were. And, and especially when, when Ramsey's mummy was found, Ramsey's II, his mummy was found in 1881. In stage, they were, their way of um, getting their fix was Shakespeare's Anthony and Cleopatra. And uh, which makes a whole lot of sense because there's a whole lot of those actors and actresses that have their costumes for Cleopatra and Anthony or um, or Caesar. And um, so, yeah, I'll have all of this information in the description below for you so you can read up on in these silent... Some of them have no information. They're, they're completely lost. I mean, there's just nothing. But at least you can see the list. And I, I have a list of a whole bunch of, <laughs> of these films. And um, of these mummy films. And, uh, but just, and especially with that pull and agree, when you see... The I mean no stunt double, and and she's falling down the stairs of this, and and it looks like the the gentleman who was tried to catch her and everything. I mean people have analyzed the whole thing, and it's like, wow. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I'm a huge fan of the Mummy films, and it just, um. It started with Georges Melez and his film. I will try to find it and put it in the description below for you. I will put all of this information in the description below for you. So you can, those of you who are big mummy fans like myself, you can also look some of this up too. 